What did you just say? I bought a Butterfinger from the store. <laughs> Remember the other, like last it's week? Like killing me today. Remember last week? I was like, doesn't a Butterfinger sound really good? Wait, wait. Are you, you've had a Butterfinger for a week? No, I just bought it today. Oh, I was about to say, there's no way. Yeah, Butterfinger don't last no week around me. <laughs> well, we ended up getting pretty close to the wood chip. <laughs> Stop. Well, we ended up getting pretty close to the wood <laughs> Come on. Shake the thing. You got bugs all over this. Okay, Ray. Well, we ended up getting the window pretty close to the, what are you going to laugh the whole time? It pass. literally looks like a bird. Do you think we can film it without? Built a nest in your head. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff in there. No, I don't think you... Okay, I can't even... I don't even know how to get that out of long hair. Well, you know, you can't really. That's the situation. You just can't, you can't get it out. Good. It's part of me now. You're recording. Good morning! We have a beautiful day on our hands here and Eric and I are working on the chicken coop. We're doing a full circle. We worked on this shed conversion to the chicken coop back in the spring months and we knew that this is not going to be its final destination. So Eric already cleaned this area outside where we're going to be kind of moving it and now we have to work on the actual chicken coop and chicken run, get everything kind of cleaned up so we can make the big move. I'm not sure how we're going to do it but it's got to get done so we're going to figure it out. What's going on here? He's got it. Hey. Can we get this all cleaned up or are we going to take the window? Sure. We're gonna see what we can do today. As usual, uh, we're just kind of winging it. So we're trying to move the shed. We're moving it probably, I don't know, 100 yards or so. And the shed is semi-unique. It's on skids. So skids are these long beams right here. I think they're like, a, I don't know, maybe like an eight by eight beam. And this runs from the front of the deck here all the way to the back of the chicken coop. We got one on each side and then it's sitting up on some little blocks. And we're gonna take those out. We're gonna jack up one side at a time. We're going to try to put it on these logs. We're going to do what we did with our Connex. We're going to kind of uh, roll it. So we're going to hook the tractor to it and we'll roll it on logs. And as it falls off the back log, we'll take another log, put it on the front. Sounds pretty simple. We'll see what happens. It's hard to say how much a shed like this weighs. It's built with true to size lumber. So two by sixes, two by eights. There's a lot of weight in this thing. I'm thinking maybe like five, six, maybe 7,000 pounds, definitely heavier than our Connex. We're gonna use the high lift jacks and let's see how this goes. Let's see if we can get it jacked up. It's already off, look at that. Okay, we got one out. Now what we need to do is we need to put that log in there all the way across and set it down on the log. Side in. There you go. Under the skid. Like that? Right there's perfect. You want to stick that about two and a half feet? She's out. She's heavy. That's for sure. Okay. Can you tell if it's heavier by the Connex by just jacking it? Nope, it feels heavier, yeah. It feels a lot heavier. I'm serious, I think it's eight to 10. There's so much freaking wood in there. They're like doubled up and stuff. Yeah. Plus the chickens are in there. 
chickens? Yeah, the chick there's only one chicken in it. Okay, and I think I'm just gonna set this one down. And hopefully it rests on those logs. Or it'll seesaw. Or it'll seesaw and go in the ditch. Next side. Oh, it's lowering. How close am I? Touchdown. All right, we'll get this one out. Well, I thought today was gonna be my day and I thought it'd be really cool to learn how to cut a tree because I've never done it before. I've watched Eric cut hundreds, but I'm chickening out. I'm not gonna do this one. It's the only one we need to move well, cut down in order to relocate the chicken coop. It's just conveniently like right in the middle where we need to get by. Um, we have no other option to move it a different way. So it's a beautiful quaking aspen, but they're pretty short lived here and they usually do die. Um, this one in particular is a very pretty one and it's not dead, but we're gonna sacrifice it and Eric's gonna cut it down. It's just in an area where it wants to lean back that way. I'm sure it's gonna be easy for him, but I'm pretty sure it would not be easy for me. So we're gonna leave it to the pro today. The woodshed. Oh, you got the, no, you got you the know woodshed. What, you know what I see? I see worst case scenario. I see it like, like what's that word? Like popping back up and me going flying. That's like what I see when I think about that tree. I think I don't want to be anywhere near it. I'm glad I fed the chickens over that there. scared the chickens, huh? That was a close one, huh? So I'm just like really glad I didn't do that myself. All right, let's get it cut up and out of the way. I don't want to lay down because it's all chicken crap. <laughs> Everywhere you stand, it's like... Hun, maybe you shouldn't have chickens if you don't like their poop. Because there's other of us people over here that really enjoy it. Uh, right here. What are you doing? Well, this is going to be attempt number one, and we have a backup plan if this doesn't work. What I'm doing now is... Uh, we're bolting this chain to the skids. We drilled a hole through the skids and then we put a big bolt in there and then we're gonna hook these on and we're gonna hook the strap to this and we're gonna see if it pulls. Hopefully it doesn't uh, bend those bolts or pull them out. I'm using my face right now to hold my body. <laughs> ah. Okay, I don't know why that was so hard. Let's pull her, let's see what happens. Do you mind putting this by that uh, the high lift so we don't lose it? It's kind of heavy. Oh, we don't need this for the operation? Uh, not right now. I'm just going to use one. We'll see what happens. So, I'm going
because there's some logs underneath the other side. You got some logs sitting in there underneath. Hang it, that's close. You can go on top of it, it's fine. Okay. Just get it really tight. Well, we ended up getting pretty close to the woodshed, and by pretty close, I mean about an inch away from the window. So what we did is we hooked the come along to a spruce tree and to the side of the shed over here, we were able to pull it over about six inches. I think that's all we need. That's pretty much all we could get. As long as we keep the tractor straight from now on, we should have it. So let's see if we can get it. collecting glass and then we can keep we can keep moving it but we're gonna have to unfortunately use a come along again yeah it's gonna shatter smithereens you're gonna tip that over We have moved exactly 40 feet. Thank you, Rocket Strap. Set, go! Dang, these logs are heavy. <laughs> it's crazy. I know. Okay, one more push. Okay, ready? ready? Set, go! Okay, that should. <laughs> This is where the coop is staying for the night. We have to get the chickens over here and inside. We also have to clean up the glass. We did not think the window was going to break. That's why I was filming because I thought we were just gonna graze it. Uh, it looking back, maybe some of you saw this from like a mile, but uh, we really should have been like a few feet over. We were just way too close with the ground being a little unlevel and just having to roll it on logs. It just feels like I wanted to like jump onto the woodshed. So the glass is broken, but we do have a spare window. I don't think it's going to be really fun putting it in, but at least we have a spare. So that's good to know. We still have a little more of a distance to cover, but we pretty much made it. We're almost there. Come 
on, chickens. Chit, 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 chit. Come on, they recognize the coop. Chit, 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 chit. Come on, chickens. Come on. Older than I would have expected. I don't think it's quite a hundred years old, but it's old. Um, I lost track in the 80 to 90 vicinity, but it's 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 that's that's over an 80 year old tree, and I didn't think it was that big. I cut my first tree down. Success. I think we only have to cut two down for this area that we're moving the chicken coop. Thankfully, we really don't have to cut that many. It's kind of a nice open area already where we want to put it. We want to make sure that the chickens get a lot of sun. There's a lot of work to do today. Eric and I kind of didn't understand how confused the chickens were going to be last night. Um, I thought that they would be able to come right back to the coop, but it was just major confusion and most of them didn't even make it back to the coop. We pretty much had to stay up into the night and rescue them from trees. It was a total nightmare. So tonight I think we're hoping to get done a little earlier and familiarize the chickens with this area, kind of put some things to make them understand this is the new area. So they were just so confused. Even this morning when I let them out, they're just totally turned around. We're only a, a few hundred yards away from where we first started, but that's far enough apparently to confuse them. So we're gonna get working. <laughs> Good. Okay, I think I'm gonna put a log in front of this. Getting this thing into position and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull it from the back. We bolted this chain on the front. Unfortunately, through our moving the coop, the bolts have bent. So I can't even get them out of the, the beam down there. So those are gonna stay in there, but we did have a second method. We're gonna take a cable and drill it through the beam and put some cable clamps on it. And hopefully we can just hook that in the back and pull it into the forest. It's getting really tight with these intricate moves. There's a lot of trees, a lot of whatnot. The logs underneath this thing right now are kind of just like all over the place. So the chicken coop is holding up so far. I hope it makes it to its final resting spot. Wear glasses because of the bugs. <laughs> because of the gnats. Gosh. They're in my ear. They went, he went straight into it. B was a no-go. Apparently those cables aren't very strong. I didn't think they were that strong, but I thought they would hold up a little longer than that. I thought they would hold up just a tad longer. What the? I thought this was like some nice cable, but apparently it's not. No. 
It's like almost it's kind uh, of strong as chain though. It's almost like cable for like a telephone pole, huh? We don't want those today. Right. Isn't it gonna fall that's off good. though? Off that one now? No, not as long oh. as you yank it and turn it. So if I you go up one more crank, put my side in a little more, I think we got it. You don't think these are gonna push each other? They shouldn't. No. That one should push that one back. Yeah, oh hold on, hold on. That's all we need. They keep going in my mouth. Man, this thing looks good over here. A lot of bugs for the chickens to eat, we'll say. And we got it jacked up. We got it level. It's sitting a little bit off the ground. We didn't know if when we brought it over here, we were just gonna sit it right on the ground. But I think it's gonna be better for the coop in the long term to leave it up off the ground. That way it doesn't sit in water and snow and whatnot. But we've got the little entrance for them. We've got it level. I mean, not much damage done. We did break the window, which we have to fix tonight, but I'm gonna tell you, this thing was hard to move. It took almost two full days. We're gonna put the ramp back up. We're gonna put the stairs on. I'm hoping that we can like kind of create a dirt path for them over here tonight and that they'll follow it to the coop. Last night was horrible. No one wants to be out here at 10 o'clock at night getting chickens out of a tree. We still got a lot of work to do. We wanna insulate it. We're gonna do, a chicken run. We're gonna be using the high tunnel that we got from our property in Willow. So that's gonna be like an outdoor chicken run for them. A lot of work to do, a short amount of time. That frost this morning, it, it got us into high gear. So we gotta get a lot of work done. And the goal for tonight would be ramp for the chickens, steps, fix that window, corral the chickens in. Let's see if we can get it done. Eric got the fence back up, so we're almost ready to call the chickens over. I'm just removing some of the grass along the edge because if you have that and it hits that the, uh, the electricity, you won't get as strong of a zap. So we wanna make sure that we have a strong zap on there. We do plan on putting more of like a permanent run pretty soon actually, but even if it's just a few days we have to have this up, it's gonna make all the world of a difference. We had it up all summer and that's probably the only reason we actually have chickens right now. We have this cool little door that makes it really easy to open up and get in and out. Everything's looking good. We're gonna call them in before it gets too late. She's not live yet, I'll leave it off, but she's ready to go. I got that grounding rod in way deeper over here, so. Perfect. All I gotta do, hun, is just get, get from this side. I gotta get with the pruners on that side and then you can make it live. Yep. Come on, guys. Come on, birds. They're coming over here. Chickens!
probably be as fresh as you can get. I'm grabbing these eggs from yesterday and today. Eric's making some breakfast inside. We are changing our plans for the day. We're just going to be cutting the foam board, but not actually putting it underneath. The chickens are just way too stressed out. Yesterday, we thought it would be kind of easy with getting half of them in, but then the other half kind of dispersed everywhere. So they were up in the trees, we had a few had to spend the night outside because we couldn't find them. And one had wiggled its way back behind our woodshed and behind all this wood that we had to move. So it was just really unsettling for everyone, I think, yesterday. And I could tell everyone was stressed out. We're gonna leave them being here today. We're not gonna be in here bothering them and cause them to fly out again. I'm just gonna leave their door closed and then tomorrow we'll get in here and hopefully, hopefully they're feeling better by then. Get under there and push up. They're snug. They're snug, grab your drill. That's your drill, it's on forward. Okay. I'm gonna hand you the washers. Washer and a screw That's each time. I'm gonna hand you two, each one. I gotta go about six more inches. Push up all the way. Evenly? Yeah, now I'm gonna give you your screws. I'm not ready yet. Okay. okay. Yes. Got it. I had to skip one because it wouldn't fit, so I'm gonna go grab another one. Alrighty, just a few more screws. I'm gonna pull around. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that one's done. Gosh. Ah, mosquito. We're finally finishing off the insulation on the chicken coop. The chicken coop project started in the spring. We insulated the walls and the ceiling, and now that we moved it and we have it jacked up, we're insulating underneath the floor for them. And what we're using is two inch foam board insulation. This stuff's really nice because it can be like kind of out in the elements. And since the bottom of the chicken coop isn't really gonna be covered by like sheathing or wood or anything, it's just gonna kind of be out there. We thought that the foam board insulation would work really good. We got about halfway done, maybe a little over halfway, and we were using brand new full pieces. So we got eight feet done out of a 12 foot section. And now we're gonna switch over to our, uh, our big pile of bits and pieces over here. We're hoping to use a lot of this that we've accumulated over the years and um, get this last little section of the coop insulated. And then, yeah, look at that. That's where the chickens have been eating it. What do you mean, see the other side? What is the problem? Not there yet. Not yet. Good. We got all our insulation done. This is what we were using to kind of screw the foam up there. And we have a little washer. It was working really well. We only used like two per board. Eric did a great job kind of making it fit nice and snug. So we don't need to use like spray foam or anything like that. We have decided, and we, we knew this, we were gonna be skirting the under neath area of the coop for two different reasons. Because we're going to be heating this coop, we think that that's gonna definitely help cut down on the wind that's blowing underneath here and we'll get a warmer structure for the chickens. But also our chickens are addicted to foam. So I don't know what it is, but if you leave the foam around them long enough, they will come and they will just peck it. So I know given enough time, they will peck and damage the foam that we just put in. We don't have the materials to do that now and there's definitely more work to be done, but we're gonna, enjoy the night and Eric's gonna make dinner. Feed my friends over here. 
So funny how they go from little tiny chicks to these ruthless chickens. We got an awesome dinner going tonight. One of my favorite ways to cook salmon when it's been in the freezer for a couple months and it starts to get a little fishy tasting is we like to fry it. So we battered this one in a little bit of flour, cornmeal, and some spices and we're frying it in olive oil. And then on the side, we've got some fresh mushrooms going. Those are hedgehogs. We're gonna make some gravy out of that. We got some potatoes steaming. We're gonna have this savory gravy covered meal tonight. It's gonna be awesome. All right. Evening hours. What do you think, honey? It looks lovely. Good, I'm hungry. I put salt and pepper and cumin on mushrooms, so I'm really looking forward to harvesting our potatoes. I haven't even thought about them. All right, let's try the salmon. I can't think of one meal that wouldn't be good with garlic and onion. Maybe a little garlic, but this is good. I love the mushrooms. Dessert? Okay. Mmm. <laughs> My favorite part is the salmon. Did you get bit pretty bad today or no? Uh-huh. Looks good over there. Looks great. Oh, someone's asleep already? Cresty. Is that who it is? Gotta be. 